Ooh -wee. I'm pretty excited right now. I've got another Firefly to show you, and this one I just got in this morning. I've let it acclimate for a while, and I, I just can't wait. I gotta open this up. This is gonna get reviewed before the other Fireflies I have. This is the FFLPS-WTOD-678, also known as the Buckethead Tribute LP. Welcome back, I'm Tony, and I am gonna do a review on this, but I, I, I'm just chomping at the bit. I have to open this box and get this thing out of here. Now, my journey with Firefly started when a friend of mine, Richie, posted on Facebook, I think it was, that he had bought this Buckethead tribute guitar from a company called Firefly. I was like, dude, I gotta know more about this. And he said, well, you know, listen, they do stuff in batches. Uh, if there's one that you like and you didn't catch it on one of the drops, you might have to wait four or five, maybe even six months before it comes back around again, because each time they do drops, they try to vary everything, you know? So you might see something in two different drops and then you won't see it again for months. And that was the case with this. Now they did release this as a baritone version and I was like, I am not really looking for a baritone. I want a standard scale. So when this thing hit the drop, I was like, oh my God, I gotta have it. So for today, I'm just gonna do an unboxing, show you what everything looks like, give you some close-ups of it and all that. So let's go ahead and dig in. I gotta say, it feels lighter than I thought it would, all right? I've got one of their other Les Paul styles or LP styles and it, uh, it seems like that one was heavier, but I don't know. First thing I noticed right off the bat is that the packing on this thing was absolutely impeccable. I've gotten them before where there's just a big gouge out of the box or something like that, but they pack these things really well. And I'm surprised that it's just, you know, it's styrofoam, that's really all it is. And they come through really well. Ooh. Now, by the way, I don't throw these boxes away. I've seen people actually selling these on eBay. And you know, I keep them around. As a matter of fact, one of the reasons is because I might actually do a giveaway real soon here, giving away my first Firefly guitar that I bought because I've got so many guitars and I'm like, why not? Why not share the, the wealth and let somebody else experience some Firefly? So stay tuned because I'm planning on doing that. Now they're always packed in this styrofoam like this. Oh, oh man. Ooh, she's looking good. Uh, typical when you get these, it's, you know, you've got a, a Allen wrench for your truss rod and a guitar cord. It's, they're never right, the best guitar cords, but. Well, it looks like it came through all, all right. There's just one little hole. You see that little hole that's right there, but that looks like it's just part of the, doesn't look like it was done in shipping or anything like that. Oh, man. Yeah, so I keep those boxes and the, the styrofoam insert and all that because uh, if I ever decide to sell one or, need to put it in storage, or if I'm moving, or if I want to do a giveaway. I have the box. That is nice. Now I'm gonna give you some close-ups here in just a minute, but there's binding that's all the way up around the headstock and everything. There's your headstock. And I've always been a fan of Buckethead style and his playing and everything else, so that was one thing that attracted this, me to this, but the kill switches. Nice, big beefy kill switches on here. Like I said, this is just a, oh boy, we're just gonna end up tearing all that, aren't we? That's right, I've got a few of these around. Oh man, ooh. I mean, it's got binding on the front and the back. It feels, this feels really light for a Les Paul style guitar. Man. Ooh, that is nice. Painted neck, I'm not a big fan of painted necks, but on this one, I think I could go for that. The binding on this is almost like a, um, it's almost like transparent or something. Slightly different color than the actual body. Let's take a look at that binding all the way around here. Because it's got this triple binding on it, a little close up of that. Because it's got that triple binding on there, sometimes the lines can be a little bit convoluted and messed up, but that looks just about perfect. There's one little tiny little thing on the binding that's up here. You can see that up close right there, but it's not that big of a deal. The binding on the back is a little bit messier, but it, um, 
you know, nobody's really looking at that except for you, right? When you, it's like, that's my guitar. Everything else looks like it's in good shape. I don't see any cracks. There's no cracks at the joint there. The neck is in good shape. The neck feels good. It's a little fatter than some of the necks that I've gotten from Firefly, which is okay. Let's just see if it's in tune. No, of course it's not. Well, we didn't expect that. Now these things are probably shipped all the way from China in a big batch, in a big crate. So of course they're gonna detune them before they do that. Man, that is, that's pretty. Kill switch, kill switch. Well, let's give you some close-ups of this. All right, I'll get into more of the details and we'll play it, see how it all sounds and everything when I do the review on this, which will probably be a short review because I've already shown you all the rest of the stuff, but man, that is pretty nice. It's got those ball end frets on it. Inlays look fantastic. Well, I am pretty stoked on that. So that is the, um, let me read it out the box. So that is the FFLPS-WTOD-678, also known as the Buckethead Tribute. Well, I've got a pretty busy day ahead of me. I'm going to do some volunteer work and stuff. So that's one of the reasons why I couldn't really do a full review, but I just couldn't contain myself. I had to get this thing out of the box and see what it's all about. When I get back, I'm going to tune her up. I'm going to play it and then we'll do a review. That way you can see how it sounds and everything else, but I'm pretty stoked on that. By the way, I waited about three to four months before this one came back in stock as a non-baritone and it is currently available on the Guitars Garden website. And I wanna say it was like $229, it's, it's under 250, I know that, but if you're looking to get one of these, now is the time, or you might just be waiting for a while. Listen, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video and for your support here on the channel. Likes, comments, shares, subscriptions are always very important to the channel, so if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, there's a red subscribe button down there and a notification bell. If you click both of those, you'll get notifications when I upload new videos. And if you're into the guitar stuff, I'm trying to get caught up on some of the other stuff that I've got here for the channel, but I've got a ton of guitar stuff. As a matter of fact, I just got the Fender Tone Master Pro, and I love that thing. I've got a Tone X1. I've got a couple other Fireflies, including this Explorer style one that I have not reviewed yet. And I got a hold of the Positive Grid Spark II, the Pearl Edition, which will go great with this guitar, which I'll also be showing you here on the channel. So lots to come. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode. We'll catch you next time on the Vapor Trail channel.